Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flu and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Ratchet and Clank, Rift apart is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix it. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one when you are having this issue, all you have to start with a simple one that we have to do a restart on your PC or system. For this we just need to click on this icon, go over here in the start and click on restart icon. Once you restart your PC, try launching the game. You have to see whether it's gonna help you guys out. So this is just a very basic step, you can try this out. Just try this as a basic step. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that is all about. We have to verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here in the game, select the game, right click and go to properties, go to install it files. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is a very important step. You should be doing this at any cost. When you do the verify integrity of game file, what happens is it will be cross check every single files of a game and it will be cross checking whether if any files are corrupted or if any files are missing, which is causing these kind of issues. So you have to cross check every single files of a game. So you just do this particular one and you have to wait this to reach 100% and you have to click on the play button and try to launch the game. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So uh, we have to uh, wait for this. So I'm going to keep this the same and I'll move to the next step. Once this finishes, I'll be showing you what you have to do. Next one is we have to launch the game from the installation folder. Most of the people launch the game from Steam. So that's why they're having the errors such as crashing and all those things. But few users, when they try to launch the game from the installation uh, installation folder, it did work out for them. So we can go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Click on install it file and just click on the browse. When you click on the browse, you can see this in the behind, as you can see, you are redirected to directly to the installation folder. If you check at the top, there is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, ratchet and client rift apart. So you have to go over here and select this one. This is the application. You have to launch the game. Instead of launching from the Steam, try launch the game from here. And that will be working for you guys as well. So you can try this out as a bit steps and if it's still not working, I'm going to show you a few more steps. So two steps uh, which I'm going to show you can be done from here. You can do the particular steps from here. That is all about nothing but what you need to do is we just need to uh, run the game as an administrator. For this we just need to go over here, right click over here and go to show more option. Go to properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For this, we just need to go over here, right click and go to show more option once again. Go to properties, go to compatibility and click on the run this program in compatibility mode. Make sure you have to select Windows 7, go for Windows 7 and apply. If Windows 7 is not working, go for Windows 8 and go for apply. We can try with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Even after trying with this, if it's still not working, let's move to the next step. So like I said, the second step, the uh, verify integrity of game file is already done. So you just need to go over here back and try launching the game. Next one is we have to make sure that date, date zone and the time zone should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Now go over here and navigate to settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Go to language and region. Sorry, not this one. Go to date and time make sure the time and time zone should be turned on this is a very important step and you have to do at any cost you have to turn this on once you turn this off you have to go back and also parallelly make sure that you have to select the appropriate geography where you are living so if you're from united states select united states if you're from any other country you have to select any other country close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or else let's move to the next one that is all about we have to try with launch the game and we have to press alt and tab together for just click on the play button over here the moment you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but for many of the users when they did this it worked for them so you can try this out as well so just click on the play button and press alt and tab together while hitting on the play button and it worked for many users those who are facing not launching issue next one we have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here sorry we just need to go over here then we just need to go over here in the file explorer now from here go to documents over here documents and you will be finding the folder 
ratchet and client rift apart so if you find this folder delete this folder so you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine it worked for many users when they try when those who are facing crashing and all these kind of issue so just delete it and launch the game and that will be working for you as well next one is all about we can try with allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here go to system and security go for windows defender firewall now go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and navigate to ratchet so you have to hence it is an alphabet keep scrolling down and navigate to r so right now the ratchet and clank rift apart is over here so you have to make sure the private and public should be selected so you have to sell private and public both should be selected and once you select this make sure it is private and public is selected you are fine with this sometimes the gain may not be here so we have to add it by default so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local to see program file x86 now go to steam now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we have to go to ratchet and clank select the game and go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because it's already added that's why i'm getting the error so just add the game and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices you might be connected with many peripherals for example you might be connected with multiple monitors joystick might be connected so uh, all these kind of issues cause these kind of trouble so you have to remove everything from the usb uh, unplug everything from the usb devices and launch the game even if you wanted to play the continue or continue the game with the controllers just connect back right now and try launching the game next one apart from this all about we have to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration now from here go to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart so uh, if you are those who are watching this they have to go for restart but for me i'm doing the shooting right now so i'm going to go for exit without restart those who are watching you have to do a restart go to the steam try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay for this just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here make sure if this is turned it on you have to turn this off if it is turned it on you have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game if that is not working we have to go over here in the launch option the launch option we have to give two commands the first one is all about you can try with the dx11 launch the game if dx11 is not working close this and go to dx12 and try launch the game so dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be working fine so you can try this out and once you're done with this we have to move to the next step next step is nothing but we have to close all the overlay application which is causing the issue so we have to go over here in the start right click over here go to the task manager right now as you can see there are many apps running in the background so we have to remove the unwanted apps running in the background for example discord river tuner msa afterburner all these kind under this category so if you find unwanted things over here you have to remove it at any cost which will be minimizing the crashing issue so just remove unwanted things from here especially all the overlay as well as overclocking application you remove this and move to the next step next step is nothing but you can try with running the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings right now as you can see i have already added all the games same way you have to add the game so just click on the browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam folder over here navigate to steam apps go to common over here and we have to go to ratchet and clank rift apart so select this one and go for op add it so once you add this you have to make a very important change just click on the option this will be by default this will be let windows decide you have to set this to high performance and go for save once you save this to high performance and you have to keep in mind or else you'll be having a lot of trouble so set this to high performance and once you set this to high performance you have to close this go back and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to increase virtual memory which is a very important step and it worked for many users just go over here search for view advanced system setting click on the advanced tab go for setting once again advanced once again go for change and over here as you can see automatically manage paging file size for all the drivers should be blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size select the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so first we need to do a calculator we need a calculator so we need to do the calculation so 32 gb is the ram of my computer so i have to compute it with 1024 then you have to multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times 
the total RAM. So just copy this and you have to paste it. Next one is all about we have to try with the same 32 GB multiplied with 1024. That brings you into 3. That brings you 98,304. So just have to copy paste it as well. So once you do this up, you just have to uh, clear, uh, go for OK and you have to do a restart and try to launch the game. Even after trying, if it's still not working, then we just need to move to next step. That is all about you have to try with updating the windows. So just go over here in the search, go for settings over here, go to the windows update at the bottom, make sure the windows is up to date. And if the windows is up to date, you're fine with it. But if you're having any kind of update, just check for the updates and make, make sure it is all fine because running these kind of games, your windows has to be into the latest versions. So we just have to update the windows. Once you're done with this, just go back and try launch the game. Next one, we have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. The NVIDIA users have to come over here. They have to select the product type. They have to go for the product series. They have to select the product. Operating system should be selected. And if you're on Windows 11, you have to select Windows 11. Everything should be selected and you have to go for start search. And once you go for start search, you'll be getting all the outdated versions of graphics card. For example, right now, the driver version is 536.67. You have to go over here, download this one, install, restart is a mandatory, and you have to uh, go further. Same way, if you're on the AMD, you have to go to the graphics. You have to select every details over here and go for submit. Once you go for submit, you'll be able to find it. So if you're on Windows 11, you have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one. And you have to try uh, restarting and try launch the game. Parallelly also, you can try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++ because it worked for many users. So you can try this over as well. So go to this link. You can download. If the system is x64 based one, you can download this one. If the system is x86 based one, you can download this one. Install. Restart is a mandatory. And once you install this, you have to go to the next step. Last and the least step is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game. For the just go over here in the game, right click over here, go to the manage, uninstall the game. And once you uninstall the game, you have to go back. And when you're reinstalling it back, you have to keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk from which you have already uninstalled. You can try any other local disk. So this particular step fixed many of the issues for me when I had issue with trouble with games like Back 4 Blood, uh, Back 4 Blood and even uh, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 and all these things. So you can try this out. So these are the possible workaround which can be done. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.